All right, guys. So Nintendo put out a uh, gameplay trailer for Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Um, I guess it says Traversing Hyrule. I guess Traversal is enough of a... is going to be a, play a significant enough factor in a 2D Zelda game that they thought to put out a gameplay trailer for it. I'm kind of curious to see what it is, so let's play. Welcome to Hyrule, a vast land where Princess Zelda will journey through her grand adventure. Whoa! Hyrule is a land of plentiful abundance. From the central plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle town, to the outermost reaches, you'll encounter new and interesting people in each of its diverse regions. Do we... I honestly don't know. Is this supposed to be the same Hyrule as the one from... Um, oh, wait, I'm stupid. I was gonna I was gonna ask if it was if it's supposed to be the same Hyrule from uh, the Link's Awakening, but then I just remembered that that didn't take place in Hyrule. Or I guess, but the, so I guess I'll ask the question then: Is this the same Hyrule as a Link to the Past or something like that, or is this just its own thing? I don't know. The Gerudo Desert consists of scorching dunes as far as the eye can see, and is prone to frequent sandstorms. That's no problem for the women of the Gerudo tribe, though. Which there we many will have no problem interacting here. with. And an oasis, a great place to relax. Jabul waters. That's crazy. Imagine somebody just manifesting a bed right in front of you. That would. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I have nothing else interesting to say about that. Home to some of Hyrule's most scenic waterways. It's also where you can find the Sea Zora and the River Zora, who each reside in their respective villages. Huh. Though they don't always get along. What? So I wonder if maybe they're maybe they're teasing a bit more of a dynamic open world, maybe? Is that what they're teasing than uh than maybe we've seen in past two D Zelda games? I don't know. Could they be fighting about? Daunting cliffs and lava flows dominate the Elden Volcano region. Kakariko Village is nestled at the mountain's base. But you'll that have seems to like a bad idea. treacherous trails to reach the home of the Gorons. Those rocks may look delicious. Alas, they are not for high... Am I... Have we ever seen a Goron in, in a 2D Zelda game? I'm trying to remember. I don't think they were in A Link to the Past. I haven't played a bunch of, like, the DS games. I feel like this might be the first. Aliens. The Ferran or the Gerudo, for that matter. Am I stupid? <laughs> I don't know. And wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. As you wander the jungle, you might come across a Deku scrub. Rumor has it these peculiar creatures have a voracious sweet tooth. During your travels, you're likely to encounter people dealing with problems great and small. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Is... by browsing your adventure so, log. Yeah, that's interesting. So we're having like the like the 3D Zelda mission styles. Right, and you have a, you have main quests and side quests, which I don't, I don't think I've ever really existed in a 2D Zelda game before. This is really interesting. Whenever you'd like, helping people with their troubles is a big part of your journey. Like the UI is is like the is like the um, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And wise heroes are often rewarded for their good deeds. Objects known as waypoints are scattered throughout the land. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting it on your map. Can you do that at any time? Even with the benefit... Because I think in... Uh, I, I want to say in Link's Awakening, I think you had to actually go to a waypoint in order to like fast travel to another waypoint. 
I think because then that's just kind of annoying. Fit of fast travel, getting around Hyrule can prove challenging. At times like these, why walk when Whoa, you can ride? Whoa, you got a horse? <gasps> Gallop right over weaker enemies to send Whoa. them flying and hop over small obstacles. That's so cute. <laughs> Once you learn to make a carrot echo, you'll be able to call upon your trusty steed from anywhere huh. in the overworld. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had horses in 2D Zelda for sure, right? Uh, I, I, you know, I need to stop saying for sure about any of this because I haven't played a lot of the 2D Zeldas. <laughs> As you explore, you may come across smoothie shops manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected into delicious drinks. They even Smoothies have like have different. They even kind of have recipe crafting. <laughs> facts based on the ingredients you choose. They're sure to come in handy during your travels. You can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance your abilities. And to look fashionable, obviously. Cute. Whether you're trekking over rugged plateaus, through winding caves, or other complex locales, creating echoes is key to success. But sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this cannot be learned as an echo, and your other echoes won't move it either. For obstacles like these, Try has got you covered with the power of Bind. Whoa. Use it to make even a massive boulder follow Zelda's huh. movement. That's so, that's like, um, I mean, that's very similar to, I don't remember what the effect was, but you basically had like telekinesis. Was it magnesis? Because you could, you could like just move around uh, metal objects in, in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Or actually, couldn't you do it for anything in Tears of the Kingdom? I actually think you could. So this is very similar to that. Except it's in a lot more of like a puzzly situation where like, it's like Zelda has to move as well. You can't just move these, the objects that you buy to. Bind can help you unearth buried treasure or even reposition troublesome enemies. You can also use Bind on your echoes. So get creative and find ways to forge ahead. Dude, I just I just love the um the design philosophy of the modern Zelda team. Like I'm not like the most like I'm I'm not I'm not the most like creative person, right? <laughs> when it comes to my to, to to games. Like I'm not going into Minecraft and fucking uh creating fucking redstone contraptions and shit like that. But the Ze the modern Zelda team has found a way to craft games where no matter no matter what level of like creative intelligence you're at they've created like so many different solutions to puzzles and stuff like that that no matter how smart you are when you like try stuff it works <laughs> you know and it really does like stuff like this it just allows you to play within your limits and still get feelings of like satisfaction and kind of still make you feel kind of smart. And I just love what what they met what like this this design philosophy that they've managed to accomplish. Alternatively, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, you can Whoa. use reverse bond to go where it goes. That's cool. Take advantage of a creature's ability to fly. Oh my god. Or to move around quickly. Huh. Swapping between bind and reverse that wasn't bond that quick. <laughs> is a great way to find clever paths forward. Oh my god. Let your imagination run wild and your Dude, bound. see what I mean? This is so crazy. <laughs> to come up with all sorts of ideas. Oh my god. Use bind in combination with your echoes to overcome obstacles. Understanding how these two abilities work together will be essential to your progress. Mysterious rifts are overtaking Hyrule. 
What else will Zelda have to contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom? Find out on There's whenever this game comes out. Find out. <laughs> the Legend of September. Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Dude, Available it's September like... 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Dude, I'm just never going to stop glazing <laughs> the modern day Zelda team. Like they they just like I just vibe with their games to such an insane degree. Like they like the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom like unlocked a type of gamer <laughs> that I've never really viewed myself to be, you know. <laughs> um but yeah, like, and just the way that they like, the the way that they just invite you to break their game, because even like even if you think you're breaking it, you're not really breaking it. You're 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 doing what they wanted you to do, um, and the fact that they just give you all of these options to to like just do whatever you want with is is insane. It really is, and I love that they're doing it in two D Zelda. Uh, I understand that there are, there are, I, from what I understand, I'm not like a hardcore Zelda fan. I've, I've really only come, grown to love Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I understand that there are a lot of Zelda fans out there that are like, oh, you need to, uh, we, we need, we want to go back to traditional Zelda. Well, I get that. But, uh, I'm glad that they're not doing that. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.